What's up, guys? So I am going to get some meat ready for my first trip in the trailer. Um, and I am going to use our sous vide machine um, and water container to actually pre-cook all of our uh, red meat. So if you've never seen a sous vide before, this is the actual machine. Um, I have it on right now and it's heating up the water. So sous vide essentially means um, like freezer packed. And so what I'm going to do is take our meat and put them in reusable freezer bags that I have. I don't reuse them, I actually throw them away because um, it grosses me out. You can, um, you can, you know, clean these out and reuse them or you can use sturdy freezer bags and just make sure you get all the air out. So the reusable ones, they actually have this little air hole here and your, well, I don't have it here. I have to go get it. But essentially it comes with like a little air pump, like a reverse air pump. You suck all the air out to freezer seal your meat, freezer bag seal your meat. Um, and then you cook the meat in the sous vide pot of water, which I am heating mine to 140 degrees. So the, our meat is going to cook for three and a half hours, bringing it to thorough, a thorough medium um, cooked red meat. And then once we get to wherever we're going in the trailer, um, we can pull these out of the cooler. They will be fully cooked. And then all we have to do is brown them and warm them on both sides and voila, that's all we gotta do. We don't have to grill the meat, anything like that. So we will take the meat actually frozen in one of the coolers that we have. All right, so make sure you keep watching to find out how the meat turned out. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is actually, I've got my meat in the bag, and this is the little machine I talked about that sucks all of the air out. So there it is, a nice vacuum sealed um, bag. And then this will go in our sous vide water. Okay, so here we go. I've got all of my vacuum sealed meats. I like to put two in one bag. Um, and then this is the sous vide water, sous vide machine. Um, so I'm going to drop those in the water. And I have this rack here um, that I bought for my uh, tub just to keep the meat separate because you do have to have the airflow in between the bag. And this is the meat in the sous vide pot or tub. And when you get the, um, when you get the rack or if anytime you buy the uh, bags, you get these little clips so you can clip down the bags. Um, the meat needs to be fully submerged. All right, so I'm kind of clipping those down so they stay under the water. But there you can see all of it in there. Okay, so remember, I sous vide all of our meat before we got here. So I sous vide filet, um, sirloin strips. Ian, come in close. So now that they're cooked, we have our Coleman tabletop grill stove here. And all I need to do is sear up our steaks for the Dindins. 